Welcome back to another episode of NFL Moneyline with Jay Pike. Last week we went 0-4 in our playoff predictions, and that put NFL Moneyline on life support. And to make matters worse, my wife's getting ready to pull the plug. But luckily, I explained to her that it's only a gambling problem if you keep losing. And that's not going to happen with three games left. That and the fact that I promised her, if she let me finish out the season, that I wouldn't bother doing NBA Moneyline. But let's be honest, I'm a grown man. I can do whatever the hell I want. I don't need her permission to... <laughs> NFL Moneyline. Hey, you got that thing for me? Oh, hey, Tony, how you doing? Uh, listen, I was just so busy with NFL Moneyline, I totally forgot. How about I smash your fucking tea table? Would that help you remember? Whoa, hey, Tony, let's not get crazy now. I'm on my $800, you bald-headed prick. 800 I thought I was only down 600 Now you got me confused. How about I smash your head through a window, then you'll be unconfused. Wow, there's certainly no need for that, Tony. Come on. You think it'll be all right if I just give you $100 a week for a few weeks till I get back on my feet? If you don't have my money, I'll crack your head fucking wide open in front of everyone on money line. And just about the time I'm coming out of jail, hopefully you'll be coming out of your coma. Guess what? I'll split your head fucking wide open again. All right, Jay, I, I, I had enough of this. You put my money to sleep, I'll put your fucking brain to sleep. I don't know who the hell that guy thought he was talking to me like that. 13 more seconds and I would have gave him the old Buffalo Mafia Smackdown. You know what I'm talking about? This is NFL Moneyline. I don't put a... <laughs> NFL Moneyline. Yeah, I'm watching the Bills guarantee Green Bay, you son of a bitch. Listen, no one is more upset about Green Bay than I am. I lost $800. $800? Are you fucking kidding me? I lost my kid's college tuition and my 401k. I'm sorry to hear that, but did you read the disclaimer at the end of all the videos that say gamble at your own risk? Read? What are you talking about? I can't fucking read. Wow. I never even thought about that. How about I give you the Super Bowl winner right now? What do you mean? You can really do that? Of course. I would do that for anyone who was in a bad situation like yours. This is the two-game, pre-release, lockbuster, uncut, smash hit Super Bowl winner. Are you ready? Yeah. Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, well, I guess I could remortgage my house and put all that money on Kansas City to win the Super Bowl. Now you're talking half the distance to the goal. Hit me with some of that Wolf of Wall Street. Are you ready? Uh, 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 gonna win that money. Uh, gonna bet that money. Uh, 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 gonna win that uh, money. Uh, All right, sir. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye. All right, folks, it looks like our first pick this week is going to be the Kansas City Chiefs over the Cincinnati Bengals. And for the second pick in the L.A. San Fran game, let's see if we can get a hold of Miller the Bookie Killer for this one. Hello? Miller the Bookie Killer, it's Jay Pike with NFL Moneyline. What's going on over there? You're bringing a lot of heat around us. I know, I'm sorry. I had one bad week. Do you think you can help me out? This is the last time I bail you out. I need the winner in the San Fran LA Rams game. San Fran to win. Money line all the way. Okay, Miller. That's all I needed, brother. You keep the heat off us. I will. I'm sorry. And I'll talk to you later. All right, Pike. Okay, bye. Bye. And that's going to do it for this week's episode of NFL Moneyline. Tune in in two weeks as we kick off the Super Bowl in the very first season of NFL Moneyline continues to get you half the distance to the goal.